Welcome to LE TV News Break. I'm Melanie Hubbard. I'm Antonio Del Rio. A growing concern in campus housing has students asking questions. We turn to LE TV News reporter Courtney Thorne to find out the details. Courtney? Students that live in Cardinal Village at Lamar University are finding mold in their dorm rooms. I spoke with a student to learn more about her situation and the health issues that she faced. Imagine having to spend more than $4,000 a semester to live on campus and your room is infested with mold. I decided to speak up about the issue because I actually got sick at the end of last semester, very sick. Junior Bria Lewis has reached out to Cardinal Village community to do something about this problem. Being that I kept having these reoccurring um, upper respiratory infections, I'm like, okay, well, there has to be something else. And that's when I lit up the window, so I'm like, it's mold in here. Of course I'm gonna keep getting sick. Bria knew that she couldn't be the only one having these problems, so she decided to go to Twitter to reach out to other students who stay on campus. So I reached out, I posted something on Twitter that said, Lamar University, if you have mold in your dorms, please DM me pictures. And pictures were coming in all day. Not only was Bria affected by the mold infestation, but her emotional support dog for PTSD, named Bear, was also affected. I've been, I, I got very sick. My, I have a support animal. He got very sick. So we're really just trying to see at this point what measures we need to take in order to protect our health. Bria reached out to the Director of Housing and Residence Life. It's nothing they can do about the mold. It's just too bad that I'm one of the few to get sick, very sick from it. After speaking with Lewis, I was able to talk to Mary Atkinson, the director of the Department of Housing and Residence Life at Cardinal Village. She gave some advice on what students can do if they find mold in their dorm. If there's any suspicion or, um, or concern about that there may be mold, to go ahead and, um, and report that so that we can go and address it and make sure that, um, that we're able to interact with the student in a way that uh, that they feel more comfortable. If you have maintenance concerns, you can email Cardinal Village at cvmaintenance at lamar.edu. LUTV News will keep you updated on the latest on this news story. Now back to the desk. Live Share Blood Center will be on campus from April 8th through April 11th. I had the chance to sit down with Nicole Murray from the Live Share's Blood Center to see how you too can share life basically the process of giving blood how long does it usually take and mm -hmm. what do they actually do okay so if there's not a line then of course uh it takes about 30 minutes i would say 20 or 30 minutes the screening process which asks you several questions about family history and you know maybe places that you might have visited that might you know is in a zone where you can't you know give or you know things like that um that process takes about 10 to 15 minutes and then actually taking the blood takes about 10 to 15 minutes as well. So it's a really quick process. A lot of people are like, oh, it's such a big needle. But I mean, it's one little stick, one little poke. And you know, I mean, it's not painful. It's just okay. kind of like, ah, okay. <laughs> and then, you know, you're done with that part and the, you, they get they take the blood and you know, that's the process. So it's, it's, it's a really easy process. So uh, people that haven't tried it, I definitely want to encourage them to because it really is a life saving tool. To see the full interview, visit LUTV News and Media online on YouTube. At the end of March, the Office of Global Diversity and Inclusive Excellence sponsored the Inspirational Woman Award Ceremony. The award ceremony took place at the Mary and John Gray Library's 8th floor ballroom. The ceremony honors Lamar women who have shown excellence in professional practices and contributions to the growth and success of women. The nominees consisted of current students and former alumni. One of the nominees including, included LUTV News' weather anchor Amari Van. Another nominee, a former alumni, tells her story of what inspires her. Today is that important that we never stop learning. It's continuous, every day. My inspiration, what I get inspired is not by anybody in the media or TV or nothing. Not even, it's everyday people. LUTV News would like to congratulate Amari Van and all nominees named at the award ceremony. The sunny weather was a warm welcome, but it looks like April showers is coming in soon. Well, Melanie, hopefully LUTV Weather's Courtney Thorne can tell us that it's just an old song lyric. Courtney? <laughs>
Welcome to WTV Weather. I'm Courtney Thorne with your seven day forecast for the week. It looks like we will be facing those April showers. Starting on Thursday, we have a 80% chance of rain with a high of 82 and a low of 65. Going into our weekend, the rain will continue. On Friday, we have a high of 80 and a low of 66. And on Saturday, we have a high of 77 and a low of 66. On Sunday and Monday, the rain will continue with a 50% chance of rain. On, on Sunday, we have a high of 79 and a low of 64. And on Monday, we have a high of 72 and a low of 60. Finally, on Tuesday, we will see some sun with a high of 70 and a low of 64. And on Wednesday, the sun will continue to come out with a high of 82 and a low of 63. So you're definitely going to want to stay dry this week with your umbrellas and raincoats. That's, I'm Courtney Thorne with LUTV Weather. Now back to you, Melanie and Antonio. Thank you for watching LUTV News Break. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and be sure to share. Be sure to join us next time for LUTV News where your campus, community, and culture news comes together.